sign up from everything that's been said so far. Um, I think everything I've heard from every speaker is an example of what there are thousands of in the world, like really inspiring kind of drops in the ocean um, that point the way to where we need to be and to the kind of system that we, that we should have. Um, what, we've, what we've had though for, for decades is more and more of, the, of these things happening, more and more you know, non-governmental organisations that aren't sort of sucked into power, that are doing things in a good way, that are coming up with innovative, inspiring, compassionate, outreaching ways of doing things. But things don't change. So, so what I really want to talk about is, is power and information, and where we stand as kind of global civil society. And I say the term civil society, knowing that like kind of sustainable development, it very easily becomes a, a notion that we don't can connect with at, at a heart level. Um, we have to change the game. It's that simple. I think. Anything that we collectively, the 99%, which is this sort of aspiration of the Occupy movement, anything that we do that looks anything like the, the status quo of the last 20, 30 years is not going to be enough on its own. That's the one thing that we can be absolutely sure of. I think there, there are very good reasons, obviously, to celebrate, celebrate the kind of pluralism of the, of the last few decades as opposed to the sort of hierarchies of the early 20th century and um, I think most people involved in, in organisations, whether they're NGOs or activist groups or whatever, you know, appreciate consensus and not having things dictated from above. But the simple fact is when we look at things compared to 100 years ago, when the labour movement was able to organise on a national level and indeed an international level, we have nothing like that at the moment. We are very effectively divided and ruled. And wonderful though most of the ideas being shared here are, Let's remember that the, the, um, the climate treaty that came out of Rio, that was pretty good. Like in, in principle, it had historic responsibility involved, you know, i.e. those who have caused the problem should pay for it. Um, it had pretty much all, all the elements of what you would need to protect the climate and, and not destroy the world. But has it really done anything at all? No, it really has not. I mean, carbon emissions have gone up exponentially. Not only are we not moving in the right direction, we're moving at increasing speed in the wrong direction. And so what, what does this say about what we, the 99%, need to do? And, and the short answer to that question has to be, as I say, changing the game, but not forgetting the lessons of the past. I, I am involved in all sorts of groups that I, I feel are in a kind of, they're kind of comfortable in their diversity. You know, whether it's Greenpeace that I, that I work for, or Climate Camp, or Occupy even. We, we like being part of a group, and, and it's much easier to focus on the, the positive intention of that group and the little things, the little victories we might have, rather than on the much sort of scarier question of how the hell we get billions of people, or in fact, you know, probably tens of millions across the world is what we're talking about as a critical mass, who already see what's going on in the world, who already hate it, who already want something to want to do something about it, how do we get those people together? And that is really the question we need to ask. And, and that's another way of saying, how do we get to a point where when we get the right laws in place in the UN, for instance, they actually do something? And I think we need to be very careful about narratives that talk about the, the, the UN being ineffectual and things like that. I mean, it's true they're ineffectual, but we need to understand that it's because of power. It's because basically, and, and the lawyers on this, this panel can disagree with me in the discussion about this, but my understanding